So, what's the main difference between SE Linux and AppArmor? Well, both are security modules for enforcing access control in Linux systems, but they differ in their approach. SE Linux, which stands for Security Enhanced Linux, uses a complex and comprehensive policy that controls every process and object in the system. It's developed by the NSA and operates on the principle of least privilege. AppArmor, on the other hand, is more user-friendly and uses a profile-based approach, where each program has its own profile. Interesting. How do their policy enforcement mechanisms differ? SC Linux uses type enforcement, role-based access control, and multi-level security. It labels every object in process, then controls access based on these labels. Here's a simple SC Linux command to check the status. Says status. For AppArmor, policies are written in a simpler, more readable way, focusing on the capabilities of individual programs. You can use a status to check AppArmor's status. Can you give an example of a policy in both systems? Sure. In SC Linux, a policy might look like this. This allows the HTTPD process to read and execute files labeled as HTTPD underscore sys underscore content underscore T. In AppArmor, a profile for the same might be specifying the access rights directly to the file paths. How does this affect system administration? SC Linux is known for being more robust but complex, requiring a deeper understanding of its policy language. It can be daunting for beginners. AppArmor is easier to learn and manage, making it more accessible for everyday use. However, SC Linux offers finer-grained control and is often preferred in environments where security is paramount. Are there any specific environments where one is preferred over the other? Definitely. SC Linux is a default on Red Hat-based distributions like CentOS and Fedora, and it's highly recommended for environments that demand rigorous security measures. AppArmor is the default on Debian-based distributions, including Ubuntu, and is preferred in scenarios where ease of use and quick configuration are important. What about compatibility and community support? Both have strong community support, but SE Linux has a steeper learning curve. You will find a wealth of documentation for both, though. As for compatibility, they're both designed for Linux systems, but their integration and default status depend on the distribution you're using. Thanks. This really clears up the differences between SE Linux and AppArmor for me. You're welcome. Always happy to discuss Linux security.